Hello everyone, we are watching Study IQIS English and I am your educator Praveen Mishra and today we are going to discuss about ISM, India's Semiconductor Mission, but it's 2.0. So what's the whole news here? The government of India has announced that the first phase of India's ISM, that is 1.0, has been almost fully completed and funded with only two to three projects being pending. And we are now about to have the ISM 2.0 to be on board quite soon. So what is the India Semiconductor Mission 0.1 as well as 1.0 as well as 2.0? And what is actually semiconductor and who leads into the production of semiconductors? So these are the questions we shall be going ahead with the proper discussion. So here we go. First of all, with regard to India's Semiconductor Mission. So the fiscal support, as you can see, approx. 30 billion dollars from the central as well as the state governments they have been allocated for the production and usage of semiconductor domestically as in totally indigenously and then talking about the stem that is science technology engineering and mathematic graduates on an average annually 1.1 million 1.1 million stem graduates are produced only and only in india coming from science and technology, engineering or mathematics background. And 20% of this 1.1 million, they are directly employed into the production of semiconductor chips in our country. Now, as we can see the pilot achievement, during the Semicon India 2025, a seminar specifically held for the representation of the semiconductor. The first ever indigenously built 32-bit processor chip from a pilot production line was gifted to Prime Minister Narendra Modi. Obviously, we have seen that how it created a waves into the semiconductor market globally. And now the next big thing, the global semiconductor leadership. Who leads? So as you can see, the three countries, Taiwan, South Korea, and China. These are the three big giants when it comes to the semiconductor. As you can see, Taiwan, global foundry dominance. So Taiwan leads semiconductor production responsible for over 60% of global output. When it comes to South Korea, so it is a particular country who dominates in the list of memory semiconductor market with 60.05 or 60.5% of the global share. And then China, largest consumption market. As you can see, in 2020, China accounted for 53.7% of global chip sales, although 83% of these were imported. But ultimately, China holds the top three list, the top three rank as well, right? So it is all the three countries. Taiwan, South Korea, and China. And now we have to tackle, we have to compete with these three giants in the semiconductor market. Now you would be thinking, why the semiconductor is so important? Let's go on for the next topic here. What is first of all a semiconductor? So it's basically a type of a transitional thing that switches on and off the devices as well as provides the memory to the devices from your computers from laptops to desktops to your mobile phones and even in your vehicles semiconductors are everywhere right now you might be watching this video might be through a computer laptop or a desktop a tablet a mobile phone well all of these things are capable to work only because of the semiconductor you might be driving a car or maybe even also an electric bike there also we have got a semiconductor. So what it is actually. So a semiconductor is a material whose ability to conduct electricity lies between that of an insulator that is made up of a rubber and a conductor that is basically many of the times made up of copper. So its conductivity can be precisely controlled. Precisely the conductivity of the electricity can be controlled and here allowing it to act as both on and off switch or an amplifier for any kind of electric signals. And now let's talk about the usage in daily life as I just stated. So they're everywhere. Your smartphones, computers, TVs, cars, or any other type of appliances from your air conditioners to hair dryers to your refrigerators and so on, right? And now the digital brains. They form microchips, basically integrated circuits that process the data 
control the devices and enable smart functions. Okay, that means it's the brain of your particular device that you are using right now watching this video. Right, everyone? And now let's talk about the key features in the semiconductor production. Obviously, first of all, I need that rubber thing, right? That's the silicon, the primary base material, a pure form of the element that is silicon. Then dopants. What are dopants? A type of an artificial rubber created to be inducted or to be added into the semiconductor. So they are tiny controlled additions of other elements like phosphorus or boron to create pathways for current. And then the fabrication process. It involves hundreds of steps like lithography, the first product, uh, sorry, the first process, etching, doping, layering, and packaging, all in ultra clean rooms to avoid any kind of contamination, right? And so India's semiconductor mission is supporting all of these things. So let's talk about the ISM. Launched in December 2021, obviously under the Ministry of Electronics and Information Technology, part of India's mission and vision, that is Digital India Campaign, as well as Make in India Vision, simply talking about the concept of Atmanirbhar Bharat. Okay, self-reliant India. And what is the only agenda, the only aim to make India a global hub for semiconductor design and manufacturing? Now, you know it well that why these semiconductors matters. From your cars to, that is from your vehicles to your appliances, from your smartphones to your, uh, to your computers, everywhere our life is surrounded with all of these things only. And these things can work precisely. These things can work properly only with the help of semiconductors. So a country who is a giant in semiconductor production will be the leading country of the globe, just like the crude oil. Whosoever is having the highest number of crude oil production, its crystallization, its filtration, that country will lead from Saudi to AE to Russia to any other country. And so is now into the digital age, the semiconductor. That's Industrial Revolution 4.0. So the objective of ISM is crystal clear. The only aim to develop a sustainable semiconductor and display ecosystem in India, covering the chip fabrication, the compound semiconductors and sensors, ATMP, as well as the design linked incentives. So these are the basic objectives of our semiconductor mission ISM. Simply speaking, assembly, testing, marking, and packaging. Apart from the chip production, these are the things that makes the huge differences. And India's semiconductor mission simply focuses on them. And now the key features. Specifically, 76,000 crore, about $10 billion incentive package was announced through the ISM launch in December 2021. Comprehensive ecosystem covering not just the manufacturing, but also the design. And yes, the industry-driven mission. Simply, what's this? Implemented by India Semiconductor Mission, a specialized autonomous business division under the Digital India Corporation, right? So obviously, we are talking about the strategic autonomy or the simple thing that is the maintenance of sovereignty, how it can be done. Only when you have got good ample amount of economy, money, a market where you are having your own dominance. So this is what the only agenda for the India Semiconductor Mission. And let's talk about the components. So the scheme for setting up the semiconductor fabs, scheme for the display fabs and design linked incentives, as we can see, around $10 billion of incentive has been provided so far in just four years. So this is where the key components, they do stand and yes, why it is needed. So let's talk about, first of all, why it is needed. So the most important thing is the sovereignty, strategic autonomy or the strategic sovereignty. Chips are the backbone of everything from smartphones to different defense equipments. Then talking about the economic impact, high value manufacturing creates the jobs they do boost the exports and reduce the imports. As in, when you talk about the uh, disease known as, economic disease known as CAD, current account deficit, where your imports 
are x but your exports are x minus 1 so you are always minus 1 in your current account that is you are always in deficit in your current account hence as a result you are bound to take loans or you are bound to just compromise within your domestic ecosystem of economy and in order to get rid of this one particular disease we have got a medicine a remedy a treatment that is the atmanirbhar bharat and through this Atmanirbhar Bharat, we have also launched the ISM, that is India's Semiconductor Mission. Now, let's talk about the phases of ISM. The first phase that is almost done and the next phase is about to start, that is ISM, ISM 1.0. So, as you can see, focused on setting of the foundation, inviting proposals, approving projects, funding initial fabs, packaging units and design companies. And we have got multiple proposals, like for example, from Micron Technology of United States for packaging and testing plant in Gujarat. Then we have got Tata Group with us as well, Semiconductor Manufacturing and Packaging Ventures. And we have got a group known as IGSS Ventures and ISMC proposals under consideration. They are yet to be finalized. But yes, the Micron Technology Group of US as well as Tata Group, they are working quite brilliantly where in our state of Gujarat that is now hub for the indigenous production and now let's talk about 2.0 that is upcoming we'll build upon 1.0 that is basically going ahead with scaling manufacturing capacity supporting more advanced nodes integrating the supply chain mechanism and possibly increasing the incentive ceilings to compete with the global productions so this is what will be our ism 2.0 focused on and remember guys most importantly a country will lead a country will be considered sovereign who will be having more economy that means will be having more military or military is directly proportion proportional to your economy and your economy is directly proportional to your domestic production and now in 2020 with the package of 20,000 crores with the simple proclamation of the induction of Atmanirbhar Bharat in our economy it provides us the boost the startup culture is at its boost and so the government has decided to cover those areas which are considered the future from artificial intelligence to machine learning to the production of the semiconductors in our country so it does makes the difference and now let's talk about the difference you want to create a difference in your upsc csc journey right so let's create it with the resolution batches 2027 26 28 which year are you planning for Next year, next to next year, next to next to next year. Doesn't make any difference. Our resolution batches are there for rescue. That is the long-term GSP2I, prelims to mains to interview batch. With 1,000 plus hours of live classes, access to recorded lectures, teachers' personal class notes will be given to you in the PDF format at the end of the session. Well, that's not enough. You need to read the books as well. We will provide you the books as well. 18 sets of printed upgraded material will be sent to you at your doorstep. You don't have to go anywhere to collect them. While taking the subscription, you just have to share us with your address. That's it. And on the very same address that you have shared, we'll send you those 18 books, 1818. Apart from that, one is to one mentorship, prelims test series, main test series, interview guidance program, main residential program, prelims residential program, every single thing under one single subscription. Every single thing, guys. And now here we talk about the prices, how much money I do need to pay. So if you are looking forward for a batch for 2026, that is about to commence from 20th of September. So the batch price will be 26,999 only. Remember guys, 25 plus tests for prelims, 15 plus tests for your mains, multiple mock interviews for your personality test. If you go anywhere, you have to pay 30, 40,000 rupees just for the sake of test series, prelims, mains and mock interviews. Around 50,000 also you can keep classes different prices notes different and everything so it will cost you around something something between 1.75 to 2 lakhs and still no quality no quantity as well but here at study iq you know it very well when it comes to prelims to mains and interview we have got this name study iq all of these things with just rupees 26,999 all of these things but there is a catch you will get this price only when you have applied this promo code that is prv live so guys apply this promo code prv live and avail the maximum possible discount on any of the subscription purchases on our study iq platform 
And let's talk about 27 batch. So it will be the price 31,999. Promo code will remain the same. And the features of the batch will remain the same, just commencing from 10th of September. And finally, let us talk about the batch for 2028. The batch commencing from 10th of September. Prices 46,999. Promo code and features shall remain the same. So guys, apply this promo code and get the maximum possible discount. And before you leave, guys, please hit the subscribe button of our channel, Study IQS English, and never miss an update from the channel. And in case you wish to connect with me, here is the Telegram code, uh, the QR code for the Telegram channel that is named as Praveen underscore Study IQ. And in case you wish to connect with me further, so you can also connect with me on my Instagram account that is Praveen Mishra underscore 2107. Okay, guys, so this is it with regard to the session of India Semiconductor Mission. If you have any questions, any queries regarding the topic, please do feel free to comment. Okay, and we shall get back to you at the earliest possible time. Thank you so much, guys. Bye bye. Good day. Take care. And please hit the subscribe button and never miss an update from the channel. Okay, see you soon, guys, in the next session. Jai Hind, Jai Bharat.